Hey friends, happy Monday. I hope you all had a good weekend and I thought I would start this week off with a little motivational video. That's what we all need on a Monday, right? So in today's video, I'm going to be talking about net worth. Some of you may know that for the longest time I've been wanting to calculate our net worth and I've been putting it off because I thought it was going to take a lot of work to figure out our net worth, but turns out it only took about an hour. I just had to kind of look on Kelly Blue Book and figure out the value of our cars and figure out the value of our house and um, it took about an hour to do all that. When you get out of debt, you need the motivation to continue doing Dave Ramsey's baby steps because saving money just isn't as exciting as paying off debt and when you finish baby step two, you think that life's going to get a lot easier and stuff but not to bring anybody down, I definitely would never go back into debt. But you have to find ways to keep yourself motivated about saving. So this is a great way. And I want to start off talking about um, this book. It's one that Dave Ramsey recommends a lot. I haven't read the whole thing, but I kind of was reading through some of it as I was trying to figure out our net worth. And I read some really good stuff, so I recommend this if you haven't read it. One thing to keep in mind that it talks about in this book is that wealth is not the same as income. If you make a great income each year, but you spend it all, you have tons of debt, then you're not getting any wealthier. So someone like me and Jared, uh, who make less than $100,000 a year, could be wealthier than some family making $500,000 a year. Because if they're spending more money to keep up with their extravagant lifestyle and they have all kinds of debt, then they're spending it all, they're not saving it, so they wouldn't be considered wealthy. So wealth is what you accumulate, not what you spend. And I'm just quoting things from the book. Okay, and I realize that there's a lot more to life than money, but who would not want to retire wealthy? You're old, you've been working your whole life, you want to have something to show for it, you want to be able to rest and relax because your body's not gonna be able to work as hard as it did when you were younger. Yeah, I have a lot of people say like, we should be enjoying life now, doing things like traveling now, not when we're old and can't enjoy it as much, but I don't wanna be working hard when I'm old. We work, You work hard, you live like no one else now, so that later you can live like no one else and do all that stuff. That's what Dave Ramsey means when he says that. So the way to determine your wealth is by calculating your net worth. This is something that you should do um, once a month, every few months, at least once a year to see how well you're doing. I'm going to show you guys what our net worth is and how I calculated it and I'm really excited. I'm, I don't think I'm going to do it monthly, monthly maybe, uh, maybe every other month or maybe every three months or something like that. We'll see. But um, what's even more exciting and what will be motivating and if this doesn't make you want to get out of debt then I don't know what will but I kind of did a uh, guess of what our net worth would have been three years ago when we, uh, yeah, it was about three years ago when we first started our debt-free journey and it's pretty cool how much it's changed. So here, let me show you what I came up with. Okay, so to come up with your net worth, you wanna take your assets, everything you own, minus your debts, everything that you owe. So here's a breakdown of our net worth. Uh, we looked on Zillow and our home showed to be worth about 165. We have a 2011, no, 2008 Honda Pilot. It's worth, we looked on Kelly Blue Book for our cars, so it's worth about 9,500. And then our, oh, and we chose under Kelly Blue Book, a uh, private party, good condition. I just wanted to remember for next time I look. Uh, we have a Hyundai Sonata 2011. Jared didn't think I should even look these up. He, has, he figured they were worth about uh, $10,000 each, so he was surprised to see that they are not worth as much as he thought. So our Honda was about 7400 cash and bank. That includes our uh, sinking fund, our fully funded emergency fund, and then just our uh, checking account. Jared has a 401k with about 17 grand, and he also has a Roth with about 5000 almost. And then my Roth has a little over 5000 I have a rollover IRA with about 15, low, over 15,000. Then the kids 529 has almost 3,500. And then so that comes out to a total of 245,000, $279. And then you take our debts. Our only debt is our home, which we owe almost 83,000. So our total assets minus our total debt gives us our net worth of 162. Woohoo! Isn't that awesome, you guys? But you know, what does that really mean? It's, it doesn't really mean much unless, I mean, it does mean something, but 
it means more when you can compare it to something. So what I did is I wrote down what I thought our net worth would have been about three years ago when we first found Dave Ramsey and had a ton of debt. So um, let's just go over this real quick. Our home about three years ago was worth about 130. Jared's car would have been, well both of our cars would have been worth about 12,000. I was driving a different a Honda Civic at that time. Cash and bank, that was just a guess. I know we had our $1,000 emergency fund and then we probably never had much more than that. Okay, and then my 401k, I was able to look back uh, for three years ago and there was about 14 grand in there and Jared did not have a 401k at that time or I think he did but he had just switched jobs at that time and he took uh, all his money out because he didn't know any better at that time and then our debts we had our home which uh, I guess about that time we owed a hundred thousand and then when we first started our debt-free journey we had a hundred thousand dollars in all kinds of debt so Oh, I don't have it written down. I forgot to write down the total, but it comes out to almost 170. And then you subtract our debts, which was about 200,000, and our net worth would have been minus 30,500. Oh my gosh, girl. So look at the difference that three years has made. Look what you can do when you don't have debt. Woo woo. So there it is, you guys. Isn't that a huge difference? I'm looking forward to doing this more often now and just seeing um, how much it increases over the years as you can see if you are on your debt-free journey you should go ahead and do this just so years from now you can look back on it and be like wow look what we did look what we did but there it is okay so what did you think about that you guys isn't that crazy how much has changed doesn't that make you want to get out of debt even quicker there you go there's a little motivational monday video i hope you guys enjoyed it give it a thumbs up and let me know if you've ever calculated your net worth or if it's something you do on a regular basis and i hope you all enjoyed this video i'll talk to y'all later bye